Hi everyone. So I thought that it would be fun to do a palette bingo because I haven't done one of those in a little while. So I thought I would use the Winterberry palette from Coastal Scents. Uh, I really like the packaging of this palette because you can pop out all of the shadows and there's a giant mirror, which I love <laughs> with palettes. And anyway, I thought this would be like a really fun color scheme. Most of these shadows are very shimmery, so I thought that it might be a little fun to play with and I'm definitely into these colors right now and I'm feeling something kind of glam. I basically just know I want something with big false lashes. That's just what I'm feeling. Sorry, I know some people don't like that when that comes out with any sort of eye look thing, but these are always kind of fun because you never know what you're going to get. And I've used this palette a couple times. I really like the silver shade as an just one and done kind of lid thing because I've been liking the cooler tones. So I have random.org up on my phone as normal with a minimum of one, a maximum of 12. We are going to randomly choose which shadows I will be using here. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to be starting with this shade here as my number one. And then I go row by row. By row. I'm glad there's not a whole lot of shadows in this palette and I always pick four just so that I don't have too many shadows and hopefully I can showcase the four depending on what I get. Okay so the first one we have here is 11. So 11 is this shade right here and that is the shade Raisinberry. So I'm really excited already. That's probably the one shadow I definitely would have gone for if I was just doing my makeup today anyway, as like an all over the lid thing. Okay, so the next shadow we are going to have is the number six. And six is this shade right here. And that's the shade Amethyst. Next shadow is the number nine. And nine is, nine is this shade right here. And that is Tyrion Purple. If you hear any noise, it's cashmere on my desk. She is, I think, trying to go for the candle, so I'm trying to keep her away from that. Okay, anyway, the last shadow is going to be the number four. And four is this shade right here, white here, I almost said, which is kind of appropriate. That is the shade White Silver. So I think I actually, I got off really easy. This is a very, very easy color scheme. I I kind of don't want to go super simple, but my mind immediately is this shade on my lid with that shade in my crease, um, a little bit of lower lash line inner corner sort of highlight with the, the shimmery lighter purple, and then brow bone highlight with the white or maybe a little white and a little bit of the shimmery purple on the bottom. Got a few ideas, but I think overall, I think it's gonna end up pretty basic, but that's kind of what I was going for anyway, so I knew what I was getting myself into. I did do my face, uh, obviously, beforehand, so I'm expecting quite a bit of fallout, but I'm gonna try and be as minimal as possible. So I'm just kind of putting that deeper shade on first. We'll see how she blends. Try not to hold the mirror too close. A lot of the times when I'm going back and I'm editing these palette bingos, I see like a lot of this. I'm like, useful for no one. I'm not used to doing sort of makeup -y videos, although, yeah, there's like, quite a bit of fallout. Uh, you guys know probably that I don't do a lot of videos like this. I always think about it, but I don't know. I just do what works for me and what I like, which doesn't tend to be the most well done shadow looks. Not, not precise, I guess, is what I will say. Precise is just not my favorite thing when it comes to eyeshadow because I'm just a very messy person. So I'm just starting with a rough 
base here. I think this could definitely be a one and done. Like if I just really blended out the edges, I really wouldn't do too much more except for like um, an inner core highlight, which for me would probably be rose stripe, just something sort of iridescent with like a uh, purple blue shift. But that's not what this is. So I'm gonna take that Tyran, Tyran, Purple, T-Y-R-I-A-N. So all the shadows are individual shadows, so they just have the names on the back of them because you can pop them out. That's, I really like this packaging. It's a really, I wish more shadow palettes were kind of done like that so you could kind of pop out and rearrange as you wanted to. Like I could definitely include other shadows in this palette and put in a few more interesting things. Like I think like a blue would look really cool here, like a light blue and maybe a deep blue would be interesting in this mixture as well. I do find that some of these shadows look kind of similar um, in the pan. I haven't used every shadow in this pan, in this palette. There's kind of an obscene amount of fallout from this, so I'm trying to clean it up and kind of work with it the best that I can. I feel like I'm just going to have to go pretty heavy with the blush. Definitely doable. I don't really enjoy how messy this is, but I think if I go really heavy with the blush as well and do a little bit of draping and then do just like a very light concealer kind of glossy lip, I think I will get kind of the vibe that I was going for. Alright, I'm going to take the purple shade. The amethyst shade, this is all this is all shades of purple. Gonna take that. I'm gonna take a little bit of that amethyst shade against my lash line a little bit just because I like how shimmery it is, but I'm definitely putting most of that amethyst shade in the uh, inner portion of my lower lash line just because that's been one of my favorite kind of looks to do recently. And then that white silver shade. I enjoy how frosty the whole thing is. Taking a little bit of a concentrated amount into the inner corner. Okay, then I'm gonna take some eyeliner. This is Urban Decay Rockstar which is a little purple eyeliner. Okay, I'm gonna take some mascara next. This is just the Essence uh, Lash Princess Mascara. Okay, so I have lash glue on some lashes, but I'm really going to try and sell this whole look with the blush. Okay, so I have this blush palette also from Coastal Sense. This is Blush Essentials. Some very vibrant blushes, and I'm going to really go for it. I'm using the deepest purple shade in the blush palette. I might end up just diving right into the eyeshadows as well to try them out as blushes. If I don't get quite... This is totally going to need some of my MAC Star Glitter as well. I was just thinking that. I was just like placing some of this blush on. Okay, so I am dipping into the eyeshadow palette and I am using that shade, which was that Tyran, Tyran purple.
I'm just taking a little bit more of that amethyst shade. We're just playing with stuff here now, people. Now that the lashes are on. Okay, so lashes are on and I did the heavy blush thing. I think I wanna add a tiny, tiny bit of star glitter. Some sort of little bit of star glitter, I think, and then just a glossy gloss. I think Moon Jelly from ABH is going to be the best gloss for this. Definitely. Okay, so what I have is these little star glitters from MAC, and that's, I'm just gonna add a couple. Okay, so it's not identical placement, but I did put uh, stars in her corner and then a little tiny clusters on the outside just to go with the whole sort of space theme. There's not really a space theme. Kind of fun, a little playful. I like to throw glitter in. I think this would be a really fun look for going out. I don't go out very often, but when I do, I always include glitter. Just gotta zoom out a little bit there. I desperately need to wash my hair, but there you have it. That is my fun palette bingo with the Coastal Scents Winterberry Palette. Let me know your thoughts and if you'd like to see any more palette bingos and with what palettes. I would love to hear your recommendations. I do have a palette inventory video as well in case you are curious about the things that I have. I'd be willing to do a palette bingo with whatever I happen to have on hand. So let me know if you'd be interested or if you just want to see other sort of makeup related videos. I'm always down. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I hope we get a chance to chat soon. Bye for now.